morning and welcome to today's vlog. I haven't vlogged in what seems like ages. I actually have a few vlogs that I need to edit and upload. But today I am vlogging from sunny Germany. Um, I am here with Knaip at one of their hotels and um, I'm here for a couple of days, two nights and three days. I have been up since 6am so excuse the appearance but I thought I would start by giving you a really quick room tour. It's potentially the smallest room I've ever stayed in but it's a really spacious which sounds crazy but it's because it's got a single bed um which i guess hotels don't typically but let's head back to the front door so you come in here and there's me i really love my t-shirt today it says pizza but i don't actually eat pizza at the moment but i thought it was really cute and it's from primark trainers are nike jeans are top shop um you come in and i'm assuming either this door well, this door is a bathroom but we'll find out in a second there's a little chair a little desk area and then a bed it is a single bed like i said I, it's quite unusual but i'm only one person so it's all i need and then there's a few products here but i'll probably show you these once i come back later because um, i need to leave for lunch in like 10 minutes let's find out if this is the bathroom yeah it is oh where's the light really beautiful bathroom actually um there's a shower obviously i am probably gonna go for lunch now i'm really tired i probably should apply a little bit more makeup i have been up for so long um and we're going on a walk so actually i need to change my trousers because we're going on a water walk and i forgot to show you the view changed into like little capris and just a t-shirt um because i think we have to go barefoot and i think the water might come up our legs and i thought the pizza top wasn't that appropriate i feel like this is kind of like a health spa changed out the pizza top we're now taking a little tour of the village the town um so i'll definitely video some of that we had lunch oh my god we had like so much food but it was really really delicious and they even made me some dairy free dessert So everyone else has gone in the bath, either with their legs or with their arms, and I haven't. I'm going to have a towel, and I'm going to be a baby. I don't want to get my trainers wet, but apparently it is freezing. vlogger because I think I'm gonna blame the fact that I'm really, really tired um but we had a walk around the, I think it's a village it could be a town I'm not sure um and um it's quite like a fairly like, quiet but very relaxing village um but we're now going to go um, and find out a little bit more from one of like, the experts of the brand and like I, oh so but I didn't go into the water um, but we are doing a barefoot walk and in that we're hopefully going to take a towel so I'll be able to do that. Um, and I'm actually really looking forward to it. So hopefully that'll be fun and hopefully it doesn't get any colder. It's not like cold, it's just not warm. So we're now going just to go sit around the pool. I don't think I'm actually going to go in the pool. Sorry, just trying to close my door. I'm going to go and sit around it kind of chill around there. A little bit just before dinner. So that was actually like really nice and chilled. We're all just so tired because we got up at like 3:30 a.m. Um, but I am gonna go have a quick shower. Um, I'm not gonna wash my hair, but I'm gonna try some of the Knight products. I'll quickly show you what we got. We have a grapeseed oil body scrub a body wash which is in cheerful mind an intensive grapeseed oil a balancing body wash and then a body massage oil and then a foot repair i am probably going to try the body scrub actually maybe i'll try the body scrub tomorrow i think i'm going to go for the body wash and then the grapeseed oil this body wash sounds good too but because it's lavender i think it's probably quite a nice evening one but since i'm going out i'm going to go for the other two so off to dinner now i'm running a little bit late my skin is just so horrible today because we haven't slept enough and then it's just dehydrated from the plane i'm wearing this dress i wear this dress all the time um especially when i'm abroad it's a 
Oasis one. It's pretty old. These are, I want to say Next, but also from last year. Zara from last year. And these are Primark. Super tired as you can imagine. I'm gonna tidy my room a little bit and get to sleep. So I shall see you in the morning and I've got a really exciting treatment in the morning. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to film it, but I'll definitely tell you about it. Good morning and welcome to day two in Germany. I am not naked, I don't know how much of my towel you can see. It's honestly the longest towel I've ever worn. It's wrapped around me twice. It was really kind of hard to even wrap because of that. But I had this treatment this morning at about five about six in the morning, I would say. So now in my bed, it looks a bit horrible now. But I think they heat something, either this or this hay, hay bag. And then they wrap you in it, kind of like a cocoon. It's like the lady only comes in to put it on. Um, and that takes like literally like two minutes, if that. Um, and you choose what part of your body you want it on. I had it on my upper, um, sh on my shoulders, on my upper back. Um, and actually, they feel much less tense. Um, which is quite nice and you just kind of sleep for a little bit longer. I have another treatment in about 45 minutes. I just tidy my room, dry my hair, get dressed, do my makeup and make my way to that. But it's looking like it might be quite a nice day. I'm also a little bit more awake today but still a little bit tired and we do have like a long journey later um, so hopefully I'll get to sleep during that. So I've had my feet in the warm water for about four minutes and then they're going in here for apparently 10 seconds and back in here and then back in there. It's pretty cold. Now that I have immersed my legs and feet in both hot and cold water twice, I am off to breakfast. And as always, I am very hungry. Because I'm now doing the barefoot <laughs> walk. So obviously we're all barefoot and apparently we have to walk on like some different textures but I'll definitely show you. So we're now off to the museum and I don't actually think I can film inside. Um, so obviously I won't but have a look at this house and its window ledges. They're not real but they look it. So they're all painted on. Pretty cool. So I had a really lovely afternoon. It's only like one or a clock. Yeah, it's one one fifteen now. Um, so I'm trying to open my curtain. We had a little cooking session which was so much fun. The food we cooked was really healthy. There was no meat and I'm quite a big meat eater, but I really don't want to be. I'm really trying to move away from eating too much meat. So it was such a fun um, cooking experience. I've never had falafel, which I know is crazy, but had some falafel. Um, but now I have about 10 minutes to pack my stuff up and we're moving on to another town. Yeah, town I think, which is actually a three hour drive away, which seems a bit crazy. But it's, it's fine. I'm probably going to sleep or potentially do some work. I haven't quite decided. We'll see how I feel once I get in the car. But I should probably start packing. Just arrived at our hotel for tonight and I'll do a super quick room tour. So I'm in the bedroom. This is the bed. It's a nice big one. Um, although I don't understand why the beds don't come made and I have to make them myself. That's a bit strange. That must be a German thing because it was the same in my last one. It looked like bean bag or some sort of footrest. A chair, a desk, pretty standard room really. And then it's quite a nice bathroom. It's not like overly big but it's really nice. There's me, just trying to find me. Um, some toiletries and then a nice bathtub. I'm a bit hungry. I bought some like snack bars with me so I'm going to look for one. Have that and then head out and do some work. Oh, look at these slippers as well. I thought they were quite funny. They've like glittered my name onto them. Time for a cheeky snack. Off to dinner now and I've done my makeup and I hope it's okay, but the lighting in here isn't great. So 
Um, I'm wearing this, which is from Fashion Union, this top. And my jacket is Fashion Union, my jeans are Topshop, and my shoes are Primark. I will link to everything but the Primark shoes because they're Primark. My ring, this, this one here is Monica Veneda. I'll link to that as well. And actually, I'll just link to all my jewellery. But as always, we're running a tiny bit late. But we're going on like this really fun walk, so I will definitely um, video as much as I can of it. We're going on the walk after dinner, which is quite good because we've eaten quite a lot. So um, I feel like it's a nice way to spend um, like a few hours after dinner. First of all, I have to explain something to you. My my English is not so good as your German. <laughs> Ladies, come on, follow me. It's a dinner and then our watch night watchman tour but i have a little bit of work to do and i kind of would rather go to sleep actually i've got quite a lot of work to do um but currently not an option it's it's fairly early it's 10 30 i have to be ready by 7 30 so i'm probably gonna have to get up at six so hopefully if i'm in bed by midnight i'll get six hours of sleep um on friday i am sleeping for like literally hours but I do have a gym session so who knows but this hotel's super cute they've got this little piece of paper that says counting sheep you don't have to if you can't sleep we'll gladly bring you a warm gl glass of milk with honey that's so cute um I think I'm rambling now because I'm tired but I shall see you bright and early for my final kind of half day in Germany by the way I have loved this town it's so adorable Good night. Good morning and welcome to day three in Germany. It's the last day here. I feel like it's got like f f all these mirrors. I don't know which one to use. Let's use this one. Um, it's my last day in Germany. I'm wearing the same thing I travelled in. So I feel like I didn't wear it for that long. Um, kind of overpacked, which is really annoying because I have loads of products to take back and I'm hoping that um, they that is within my weight allowance, fingers crossed. Um, we have to go to breakfast now. It's 7.40, yeah. I'm looking forward to breakfast and then we're going for a bit of a factory tour. So I'm gonna finish packing and head down to breakfast. So as I mentioned earlier, today we're getting a bit of a factory tour. So we're gonna go in and disguise and, and I can't film after that, so I'm going to probably not show you too much of that, but I'll definitely check back in after. We've got like funny little shoes. And we're now going into the factory. We've had to disinfect our hands, take all our jewelry off, all that sort of stuff. But I'm not allowed to film in there, so I will report back post factory tour. So we're now on the flight back, and I haven't really checked in for a little while, but we done the factory tour, which was actually super, super interesting. Um, and I'll probably talk about that a little bit more in my blog post. Um, but we are in Frankfurt Airport now, and we're waiting to fly back to London. So I'm pretty excited to get home to bed to be honest, but I've had a really really lovely trip and thank you so much for watching, check out all my links below, um, I'll be writing blog post too very soon and I'll see you all very soon. So I was sitting here editing my Knight vlog and I think sometimes when you're vlogging on the go it's kind of hard to share all the information you want just short on time sometimes and other times you just kind of don't think it through enough so I just wanted to quickly pop on and kind of round off my video and kind of just kind of update you I guess so I want to start off by saying a huge thank you to Knight for taking me to Germany I really don't want to offend any German people when I say this please don't be offended but I think Germany kind of sounds like a slightly boring country but after being to Berlin and these two cities as well, I can't remember what they're called, but if I haven't mentioned them in the video, I'll link, I'll write them down below, but I'm also doing a blog post about this. And I actually think Germany is probably one of my favourite countries ever. Maybe not like the most exotic to go on holiday to, obviously, but I think if I had to move somewhere, I would probably choose to move to Germany, which I think is a big claim, because I always used to say France and I love Paris, but Germany's pretty amazing, I think, and everyone's... A little bit more friendly than in 
um, Paris, I think. And I think Germany hasn't got a good rep for that. But personally, I think everyone in Germany was just an absolute pleasure. I just had the best time. Like, both times I've been to Germany this year, I have loved it. It was also great to see that the products I don't think all of them, but most of them are still produced in Germany. It was great to see everyone's passion for the brand, from the person that ran the spa, to the people working on the factory floors actually producing the products. It just seemed like everyone really loved the brand, which I think is quite rare nowadays, but because most people grew up with the brand and probably had like families working in the factories and stuff like that, um, they just had a real passion and I think that's yeah, it's just so rare to see that. And staying with that, I guess it's also nice that the theory behind the brand hasn't changed that much. Not to like, oh here's hundreds of chemicals that will do what you want it to do. It's still very much based on Sebastian Knipe's theory um, and how he thought that you should look after your body. Which is such a simple way to look after your body, but such a honest and tested through time way to look after your body. Just eat right, exercise, um, and just kind of look after yourself, which I think we don't do enough nowadays. But and it's quite nice to have a brand promote that as well as their product. And um, the treatments we had were really, really interesting, like completely different to anything I've ever had before. But actually, the two that we had, the second one, which is one where you dip your legs in and out of cold water, um, you could so do at home and I think that's so amazing and um, the the spa is actually somewhere where you can be prescribed to go in Germany which I think is amazing and it just kind of proves how incredible it is because doctors are recommending you go there if you're looking for a way to start your day then I guess dipping your I think it's supposed to be your arms if you're waking up and then your legs if you're going to sleep. It's such a basic concept that could really like help. I think that's just amazing. I've actually been trying the product since I've been back. Top of my list is to try the skincare but I kind of haven't got around to that if I'm honest. But the bath salts are my absolute favourite products from them. This is my second bottle of, of this Sweet Dreams ones. But I've got a few of the other ones and they're really nice as well. And they smell quite strong but I think that's just a sign of, of like how good quality they are. And once they're in the bath they're not like overpowering or anything like that. So I would highly recommend these. And I was so shocked by the price of this. Like this is 500 grams. Like when does any beauty company give you 500 grams of anything? And this is like eight pounds or nine pounds, like it's not expensive at all. And I think it really works as well. If you're struggling to get to sleep, this is amazing. And then just generally, their whole like body range has been amazing. Body scrub, this one here is a body lotion. I just really like it. They smell really like natural. There's no like overly sweet smells. It's just like nice, like floral, fruity, but not like cheap synthetic scents at all. So once again a huge thank you for watching, a huge thank you to Knight for taking me to Germany, I honestly had such a lovely time. But I shall see you all in my next video which will hopefully be up quite soon. Um, let me know if you've got any questions regarding Knight as well, I'm more than happy to answer them and I shall see you soon, bye!